Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Geeksla. In this video, we'll be talking about the new Honor Play smartphone. Okay, the phone is not that new, and some people even doubt its credibility after the launch of Poco F1. So, in this video, we will look if it's really still worth buying, and is it really a gaming powerhouse? So, let's get straight into the unboxing. On unboxing, you get the smartphone itself, charging cable, charger brick, and some startup guide. These days, there's nothing fancy about unboxing a smartphone. You get nothing new. The Honor Play was launched into the market claiming to be a gaming powerhouse. The phone is priced at a 20k for a 4GB RAM version and around 25k for a 6GB RAM version. Let's talk about the build and design. As compared to the Poco F1, the Honor Play has a much better build. The phone has a sleek metal body design with the fingerprint scanner at the back. Yeah, they did keep the fingerprint scanner. The phone do come with the face unlock feature, but one thing to notice is People tend to use face unlock more than the fingerprint scanner. And yes, of course, we cannot forget the notch. Yes, the Honor Play has a notch design, just keeping up with the trend. The build is sturdy and makes it feel premium, even at this price range, which the Poco F1 fails to accomplish. Let's talk about some of the features. The Honor Play comes with a 6.3 inch IPS Full HD LCD display, 64 GB internal storage, dual nano SIM with hybrid SD card slot. It comes in a 4GB and 6GB RAM variant. The phone runs on Honor's EMUI 8.2.0 which is based on Android Oreo 8.1. The UI is not that great to speak of and skin looks somewhat similar to iOS. The fingerprint scanner can be used for gestures like swiping to view notification or answering calls. The Honor Play has a single bottom firing speaker and it's really not that great. The performance was the main marketing feature of this phone. The phone comes with the Kyren 970 octa-core processor. It is the same processor as Honor P20 Pro which sells for around 60k. The Honor Play comes with the GPU turbo technology. With the technology, the GPU performance increases by up to 60% while also seeing battery consumption drop to by 30%. Well, this is what the company claims. We did try PUBG and Asphalt and the new Asphalt and did not see any lags or frame drops. The phone does pretty good with the performance and does not disappoint while gaming. Let's talk about the camera. The Play comes with a 16 megapixel plus 2 megapixel dual camera setup on the back with one f2.2 aperture and the other f2.4 aperture for getting those depths in the images. The front camera is a single fixed focus 16 megapixel sensor and takes some really good shot in the good lighting conditions. The camera in Honor Play is not flagship level camera. I mean to say that it cannot go up against OnePlus and other big guys, but given the price point, it's really great. The image quality of the camera is good, but in low lighting conditions, the camera do tend to miss out on details. The video quality of Honor Phone is also really great. Here is a sample of the video shot on 1080p and 30 frames per second. The electronic image stabilizer just steps in in the 1080p resolution and gives a good stabilized shot. The phone do lags optical image stabilization. Let's talk about the battery and display. The Honor Play comes with a 3750 mAh battery. The battery life of the device is pretty great. You can get a full day of phone usage with a single charge. Talking about display, the phone comes in 6.3 inch IPS full LCD display. The display is pretty impressive with the resolution of 1080p into 2340 pixels. The display is really good and great for gaming and video consumption. But we did find it uh, difficult to read the screen in outside condition with the full battery brightness on. The final conclusion. The design of Honor Play is good, performance and battery life are great. The camera is reasonably fine if not great. The one thing we did not like about the phone is the UI. It would have been great if it had a stock Android. If you are someone who would prefer a good design and performance, then this phone is for you. But if you are going to use the phone as your daily driver and for camera for Instagram pics, then I would like to say there are better phones out there. That's it guys with this video, hope you guys like it, hit the like button if you like it and subscribe for more awesome content. See you guys in the next video, till then, see ya.